Now, uh, in this video, I want to do uh, three examples. <coughs> uh, I have taken this from one of the worksheet uh, I got, which is called Year 11 <coughs> MCAT Algebra Practice. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a figure. This is a right angle triangle. Uh, you want to write in a simplified expression for the perimeter of this triangle. Okay, so the perimeter is the sum of the three sides of this triangle. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So you want to find the perimeter of this triangle. So the perimeter, I'll write P for perimeter, would be 3A plus 2A plus 14 plus 8A plus 4, just like that. This is perimeter is the sum of the three sides of a triangle. Uh, the sum of all the sides of a closed figure. So here yeah, let's group the like terms. So this is 3a, this is 2a, and this is 8a. So it's always good to group the like terms. Plus 8a and the numbers together. So this is 14 and 4. Plus 14, plus 4. So, so you can add the like terms. So you can add these three and also add these two. So this is 3a plus 2a is 5 lots of a plus 80. This is 8 lots of a. So this is 3 lots of a plus 2 lots of a plus 8 lots of a. So this is 5 and 8, 13 lots of a plus 30, 14 plus 4 is 18. And this is your answer. So this is the perimeter in terms of a in the simplified form. Or this is a simplified expression. Okay, <clears throat> continuing with the same triangle, write a simplified, I want to see the triangle, so write a simplified expression for the area of this triangle. So I hope you know the area of a triangle, of area of any triangle is half times base times height. B stands for base, so this is your base this is the base of the triangle and this is the height of the triangle. So half base times height is the area of the triangle. You want to write a simplified expression for the area of this triangle. So A for area is half times, I'll put this in the bracket or you can write like this, half times 2A plus 14 times height which is 3A. So you want to write a simplified form so here, yeah, what can we do? So this is half. What can we factor out in 2a plus 14? What's the common factor? So let me write this like this. So this is times. Can I write this as 2 times a plus 2 times 7 times 3a? So you can factor out the 2 you can factor out this 2. So 2 is a common factor. So you've got 2 here and you've got 2 here. So you can factor the 2 out. So this is half times 2 bracket a plus 7 times 3a. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So area simplified form would be 3. I'll write like this. For, I can write 3 in the Three, to start with, you can write 3a times a plus 7. So this is the simplified form of area. So 3a times a plus 7 is the area of this triangle in the simplified form. Okay, and finally, the question is, if the total area is 90 meters squared, what's the value of a? So now, what they're telling us is a, if is 90 meters squared, what's the value of a, the small a. So in place of a, so in place of capital A, that is uppercase uh, a, you can put 90. So can I say 90 is equal to 3a times a plus 7. What I've done is in place of a, I've put 90. So I'm going to divide, I've got a 3 here, 3 this is 3 times a, so can I write this like this? So this is 3 times 30 is equal to 3 times a times a plus 7. 
So now I'm going to divide both side by 3. So if you divide this side by 3, you can divide this side by 3. So this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. So now you've got 30 is equal to a times a plus 7. Okay, so you can do this in different ways. I'm going to expand this. So this is 30 is equal to a squared. a times a is a. This is the loopy, loopy arrows. So a times a and a times 7 plus 7a. So now this has become a quadratic equation. If you take away 30 from both sides, I can say 0 is equal to a squared plus 7a minus 30. Okay, now this is, let me write this in a standard quadratic form. So this is a squared plus 70 minus 30 is equal to 0. Okay, so tell me the two factors of 30. So let me draw a line here. So factors of 30, factors of 30. So let's write the factors of 30 which adds to give you 7. So first, let's take 1 and 30. 1 times 30 is 30, but 1 and 30 will not give you 7. Okay, <clears throat> so if you take, let's not worry about the sign. So now you've got 3 and 10. 3 and 10 gives you 30. Okay, now 3 and 10 does give you 30. And it also gives you 7. So how can it give you 7? So if you do minus 10 times 3, that gives you 30. So that's this 30. And minus 10 plus 3, uh, this is not going to work. So I had to change the sign. I was not thinking. I'm going to change the sign like this. If you put a minus here, 10 times negative 3 is 30, and 10 plus negative 3 gives you plus 7, plus 7. So the factors are a plus 10 times a minus 3 is equal to 0. So you have to set now each of them equal to 0, because this is a number and this is a number. The product of two numbers is 0. So one of them has to be 0, or both of them have to be 0. So I can say a plus 10 is 0, or a minus 3 is 0. Okay, so this you can say a is negative 10, or a is 3. Now out of this two, one answer is only making sense. Which of them makes sense? Mathematically, both are right, but in, in context to this question, a can, can a be negative? If a is negative, your height is going to be negative. So here you have to say, but a should be greater than 0. Okay, so which implies, which means a is equal to 3. Okay, so you can check your answer by putting this back in the equation. So let's check the answer, whether it makes, so the area, so this is how you check. So we are saying A has to be 3. So your area is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 plus 7. In place of A, I have put 3. So this is 3 times 3, bracket 3 plus 7, which is 9 times 10 which is 90, and it does make sense.